and the road to regionals begins now. <laughs> What's up guys, your boy is back and today I'm going to be starting my Road to Regional series here and uh, I'm basically just going to be <clears throat> testing out teams on the rank ladder trying to figure out what I want to play at uh, Charlotte and uh, it's cost me some points on the ladder testing this stuff out here but instead of Pokemon Showdown I'm just being this guy that's gonna go destroy his record on the rank ladder. Why not? Because I uh, I'm a boss like that. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. So uh, I've been trying all kinds of different stuff, right? And uh, I'm, I really think Hatterene's gonna be a good call because the magic bounce ability is really nice with all the Venusaurs running around, right? So he's got a different kind of team. It seems like he's kind of trying some stuff. Let's see, I don't really see Weezing being too good here. I got Weezing in here just to really slow down like all these Sandstorm Tyranitars and obviously uh, the Gastrodon so my Dracovish can get in. I think we're going to lead Sableye and the Hat. I think that's the way I want to go. Or maybe I start with Sableye. Yeah, I think we go Sableye Hat. I think he's gonna open up Duraliodon, which is okay. I'm not really that scared of that. Or actually, maybe I go with Dragapult. I really see Dragapult doing really good because that's all special attackers. And I can just really just max bug the crap out of stuff. And he's also got the assault vest. We're gonna bring the hat. And I don't. I think the Charizard's better here, honestly, than the Dracovish. <clears throat> so let's go in here. Let's show him what we got, right? Show him what we got. We're gonna give it to him. So let's see how he's gonna start here. I'm thinking he's going to start uh, Duraludon because he sees the Hatterene. He's like, oh, he's starting Hatterene. Yep. There's Duraludon, Gengar. I haven't seen a lot of... This is probably my first Gengar I've actually ran on, ran into on the, like, the rank ladder. So this is pretty cool. I think... I think what I want to do here... I don't see a reason to quash... Maybe I just go ahead and Nightshade the Gengar because I feel like he's got Sash on the Gengar. So I think it's just smarter to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to Phantom Force into the Gengar slot as well. Maybe I'm going to, I think I'll dodge a Max Dragon this way. <laughs> we'll see. It's always kind of nice to dodge with Phantom Force, like a max move, because it's like, you kind of make him waste a whole turn. He's probably going Max Dragon. He could be going Max Darkness, though, too, into uh, Sableye, which I'd be okay with. I wouldn't be, like, super happy about it, you know what I'm saying, but... Shadow Ball. Ha <laughs> ha! Man, he took a double miss. I'm pretty sure the Gengar is sashed. I just... I can't be 100% sure about it, but I really got a feeling. I think we're going to pull Sableye out. And uh, put Charizard in. Because I really want to save the Sableye for Hatterene. Um, I really don't see a reason to keep, keep Sableye in. We're going to switch him out. We're not really switching out into a great situation, but I'm pretty sure he's going to try to double target the Dragapult again. And this will knock the Gengar out. And our Dragapult... He loses the Phantom Force. That's okay, though. I'm not, I'm not too sad about that. Max Darkness. 
Oh, we live that, thanks to the assault vest. <laughs> He's probably like, what in the world? He doesn't understand. I don't understand. So it would be actually pretty nice to have Phantom Force still at this point. Okay, there's Inteleon. I know why he's pulling him out. He's skirted up the Charizard. We don't have Max Sun right now. I'm probably just going to protect Charizard. Maybe not. Maybe I do protect Charizard. I think I protect Charizard. And I think we go Outrage. Yeah, let's go ahead and Outrage. Because that's going to hit some mad damage, and we're at 15 health with him, so that's not so good. So we might as well try to push out as much damage as possible. Outrage. Get mad, boy. Get mad, boy. Oh, we... Whoa, we KO the Inteleon. That's hilarious. I was almost for sure that would go into Duraludon. He goes Max Lightning into Charizard. Charizard lives it pretty well. Nothing's going to sleep now, buddy. Not that I put stuff to sleep, but if you have Venusaur in the back, you kind of just wrecked your own, your own strategy there. Let's see what he got. Venusaur, you max lightning while you have a Venusaur in the back. That's interesting. So I can heat wave pretty happily now. I haven't used my max yet. So, and I'm stuck on, uh, I have no choice but to outrage again, which I'm okay with. I'm going to keep doing it anyway. I don't get to choose the target, but I'm not sad about that. So we might win this one without even maxing a Pokemon. We might have to, though, with it, because Outrage is that. Heat Wave. Oh, we're confused now. That's no fun. We'll probably go ahead and back him out for that reason. Exactly. This might, this might just hurt this boy a little bit. Oh, yeah, that does a good bit of damage. That uh, life orb taking a little bit of our life. That's okay though. He decides to go ahead and deal with the dragon bolt. That was a really strange move because he knows the Charizard is like a big threat to the Venusaur. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll bring out the Hatterene now and go for a Max Smite. And we might go actually just protect on the Hatterene this turn. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and protect Hatterene before we max. Just, just to see what he's gonna do. We don't have to worry about getting a max move put on us. Yeah, that's kind of weird. You're like, whoa, protect on the Hatterene, but this isn't a trick room team, so. And we almost just wiped him out right there. But it's always good to play it safe because you never know what can happen. Once again, not trying to kill the Charizard. Very interesting. So we just, because, why not, you know, why not. I could have set Max Flare, just set some sun. Okay, so that's a good W for us. I mean, we're kind of low on the ladder, so we're not, he was probably trying some stuff out. I'll take the W, though. Thank you for your hard work. Have some urn. I'll take some urn. I like urn. Oh, my Pokemon get master rank. Look at that. Yeah, we'll continue battling. So, yeah, I'm going to keep doing some stuff like this. And Charlotte Regionals is in about two weeks from now. It's not this weekend, but this the next weekend after that. So, I'm just trying to prepare for that. I'm testing out so many random things. I really like the Hatterene. It's very dice rolly with the confusion on Smite. But, uh, if the dice roll in your favor enough of the day, you're in a good spot. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. How should I start this one out? I think I'm going to start out Weezing and uh, Dracovish on this one. Or maybe I start. Hmm. No, because I don't want to get hit with Fake Out. I might take Weezing off this team. I don't know if I like him quite enough. Maybe even Dracovish. I might replace him with something else. Kind of hard to say what I want to start with here. 
Maybe Charizard. Charizard would be pretty safe to start with, I think. Or maybe Dragapult again. Yeah, we're gonna start with uh Save a lot of Dragapult again. That's a good lead, especially when you got like a fake out user, like you can't even fake out, you know what I mean? And let's bring the hat and the fish, I think. Oh man, let's bring the Charizard, because Incineroar can be quite a problem for Dracovish. Like, yeah, he's got the type advantage, but him being able to use fake out, and then he gets the intimidate as well. He's quite a he's quite a threat for Dracovish, and that might be my reason for not playing Dracovish in this uh, coming up tournament. He might get swapped out for Rotom Wash is probably better on this team anyway because it gives me some lightning coverage as well. Um, electric coverage is kind of what I need, I think. So let's uh, go ahead and Will O Wisp that. I'm gonna go ahead and Phantom Force the uh, the opposing Dragapult, and hopefully we win the speed tie here. I am jolly max speed here, so we're just praying that we win the speed tie because most Dragapults are max speed. He's going max turn one. He's not playing games. He said I'm at number six thousand. I'm trying to get to five thousand, and this is how I got to six thousand by maxing right away and uh... sometimes that'll work i did that a lot when i played Ma uh... g-max charizard just max and get the max get the max g-max fire start burning them boys up we missed the oh what oh man i always forget about that stupid thing see these are great things to remember for the future we win the speed tie that is amazing like you have no idea how amazing that is so we just neutraled each other out completely. So here we are once again switching into Charizard for the Sableye. Or maybe we Nightshade here. Oh man, this kind of makes me want to run Fake Out on Sableye. Oh, let's see. Let's go ahead and Nightshade into this slot. Cause I'm not really quite sure what he's going for. That hit's fairly good. I'm okay with that. Oh, that sucks. He pro I just proc a weakness policy. This is bad. This is really bad. So I definitely should have pulled that uh, Sableye out of there. We're in big duty now. This is bad. I don't really know how to... He's going to taunt me. That's okay. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I think we just... Did we bring the Charizard in? Or I think we just bring the Hatterene in. I'm gonna max guard the Hatterene because I feel like he's gonna immediately target this slot. And I'm gonna Phantom Force. And uh, once he's not G Max, if he doesn't swap out, then he he's gonna die to it um, in regular form. He can't protect it either, so I feel like this is our way out. It's really our only way out because the thing has a weakness policy boost right now. And we cannot get hit by that. It's killing anything and everything it hits at this point. And uh, I have a feeling he's going straight for Hatterene. He knows he outspeeds the Hatterene. So we're just going to straight up max guard right away. Oh, he goes max guard too. Very interesting. That's really interesting. I'm not... Maybe he foresaw what I was going to do. I, I don't know. Anyways, no more U-turn. Or you don't get to U-turn again, so that's great. So we're gonna get to Phantom Force right into that. We're gonna smite. Straight up smite this thing right here. 
And we'll get that confusion, which will be nice. I don't see him just like popping us out. Like, you know, we don't I don't see us getting wiped out. As long as this Dragapult kills this boy. Sucker Punch. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I'm okay with that. We should knock him out here. Yep, he's out. He's out of the game. He did good. I'll allow it. Maybe I should just max flare here. Yeah, okay. Alright, nice. You avoided the attack. That's my girl. That's my girl right there. She avoiding the attack. We're almost gonna wipe you out. We're gonna give you some confusion. That's what we like to see. Now this is gonna be an interesting thing to see at Charlotte because confusion can really go it can swing your favor over very quickly. Right? Like it's a pretty awesome Pretty awesome aspect. I think we're gonna max flare. Just to set up for Charizard. Oh, that's right, no effect on that. I think we just uh we U turn out. Or do we just psychic things? I don't know. I think we're just gonna go psychic things. Just to keep trying to Okay, cool, cool. We get the kill there. Ooh. Dragapult lives like a champ. We're gonna set the we're gonna set the uh, the sun up, which is perfect. It's perfect for Charizard because he's gonna come out swinging like a champ with that solar power and the uh, life orb. So that thing will be hurt. Oh, let me get. Let me get in big boy, that big boy damage. So far, Phantom Force, I don't really like that move a lot. It's pretty funny for just dodging, dodging bullets. Um, not me. And I think we're just gonna protect, and we're going Phantom Force. Who, who do we try to get rid of here? I feel like. I think we're just gonna go ahead and try to attack him a little bit more onto this Togu Kiss because Togu Kiss is the crit is the problem. Togu Kiss just critting everything is the problem. So we're gonna avoid everything he can do, which is great. See who you're targeting. I see what you're doing, and you're just gonna double attack there. You're kind of just gonna click Dazzling Gleam the whole game, like all. All of you guys do. I'm gonna go ahead and click the Dazzling Gleam too. Because I can click buttons. I can click buttons. That's all this game is clicking buttons. It's decision making on what button to click. And sometimes it's just an easy decision. Okay, you're not quite dead. Meteor Mash. Hatterene. You're gonna you're gonna eat it, maybe. Maybe. Oh no, Hatterene goes down. I believe Charizard will pull this out for us. I really do. I believe in the heat wave. With the sun up, I definitely believe in it. I have faith in the boy. Uh, in hindsight, probably should have uh, Phantom Forced into the Lucario, just in case it has a Focus Sash, which they tend to have. So yeah, we're going Heat Wave. What else do we have? What other option do we have? Oh, Extreme Speed. That's a pain. He has the Focus Sash. So we've learned a lesson here. Sadly, now we lose because of that. Man, what a small little misplay that really cost me the entire game. Thought I just targeted that slot. I should have thought about the... I thought about it after, and it cost me the game. And it's things like that in Charlotte that I'm going to be really, really thinking about. Things like this. Okay. So I would have been like, you know... You know, 
we, we want to win. We want to win. We don't want to do stupid stuff like I just did. We lost because we misplayed. And uh, that's how we learn. And sadly, now I'm going to rank down on the ladder. That don't matter. What matters is not losing at Charlotte. Losing here is okay. I'll lose here. I don't have no problem with losing. So are any of you guys going to Charlotte? Let me know. I'm curious to see how many people are actually going to Charlotte. They might be on YouTube. That'd be, you know, I don't got a whole lot of people watching me right now, but just you wait. Just you wait. Just you wait. So, uh, I definitely, I'll probably drop another video in like two days. Another road to regionals. And I think Dragovich is coming off the team. Maybe Weezing too. I'm still fine tuning things. There's a Dracovish right there. Okay, we're seeing Incineroars now all of a sudden. What do we want to lead with? Maybe... <clears throat> Maybe we lead the hat this time. I think we're going to lead the hat. We're going to quash whatever the fastest thing is. And we're going to lead the hat. We're gonna bring probably Charizard in the back because there's a lot of great things for him to kill. And uh, who should we bring else? Probably the Dragapult. The Weezing might be nice too, though. I can see Weezing being really nice. He might open up the Duraludon, but I'm not too scared of that, honestly. Yeah, let's go ahead and open up the hat. We're putting our hat on. We're wearing our big boy hats today. We're wearing the big boy hat today. Alright, BK. Are you the, the BK bomber? Or is that the B2K bomber? <laughs> the what? The who? So I hope all you guys out there are staying safe from the coronavirus. You know, I hear it's out there getting people. Nah, we ain't, I, I think it's kind of all just like a bunch of wash, you know what I'm saying? I don't know though, you never know. You never know. We're definitely gonna quash this Duraludon. And we're gonna also smite this Duraludon. So this is, this is the ideal situation here. We quash the boy. Then we smite the boy. And then, if we don't kill the boy by smiting him, then that boy will then proceed to smack himself. That's what we want. That is, that is the goal here. Because Duraludon is Hatterene's worst enemy. We do carry the Babiri Berry for that reason. Wait, wait, wait. Let's stop it. Stop it. So he might actually just like straight wipe him here. Wipe his butt right now. Pow! We have eliminated the threat. <laughs> Yay! Right? We eliminated the threat. That's what we wanted. And we confused Whimsicott. Whimsicott's like, I don't know what just happened. I don't know what just happened. Whimsicott don't understand. Whimsicott do not understand. There's a cock, do not compete. There's a Draco boy. You know who's getting quashed, right? Dracovish. And he's also going to get smited. That's not... I'm not scared of Dracovish. He might just max it and like wear, run some weird set with like a move where he can max guard. That'd be really weird. I wouldn't be all that... I wouldn't be all that scared of wouldn't really bother me all that much. Hit yourself! What is the point? I don't care about your tailwind anyway. I'm quashing. Quash. MVP of the game. So Dragovish dealt with. Smite! Yeah! <laughs> Dead. Um, I don't expect games to go like this all that often. But every once in a while, 
can't be like that, I guess. I don't think this guy was really un understanding what he was up against either. He's really effectively out of great things to max. I guess you can max Incineroar. I've never seen anyone do it. I think we're about to see someone do it, though. And we're just going to do it again. I really feel like I should set Sun. No, we don't need to set Sun. We want to smite. We just... We want to confuse the incineral. He canceled the battle. Well, that's effectively my team. Not every game went that well. But we learned things about our team here. And we're going to... All through these next two weeks, things about this team will be changing. And you guys will eventually see what I'll be taking to Charlotte. And uh, then I'll be, you know, updating you guys about how I'm doing at Charlotte. I'm trying to come out number one, y'all. Number one. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave me a like, comment, a subscribe too, maybe. And uh, God bless, guys, and peace.